So if we were asked today, what are today's biggest threats, we could spend all night, which we will not do doing so, discussing this. You could say China, Russia, those are the threats du jour. Uh, it could be Iran, nuclear missile program. It could be ISIS 3.0. Um, it could be narcotic wars in the south of our border. It could be Venezuela right now, genocide, North Korea, climate change, et cetera. And as all these are bad threats, they are not the worst. They are not the worst. Something that's giving rise to all of them is a systemic threat that I call durable disorder. Durable disorder is the new global environment. It's slowly creeping around the world and has been at least for 25 years. It is, it is replacing, as the Westphalian order of nation states retreats, it is what's left in the wake. It contains and does not solve problems, which is the problem. And it's, but it's not anarchy. It's not the sky is falling, let's invest in more sky. But it is a world where conflicts do not resolve. They persist and smolder eternally in so-called forever wars. And it's marked by permanent entropy and overlapping forms of governance, if any governance at all. It is systemic that gives rise to the other threats we've discussed. Others are even exploiting it, like I would say Russia and others. Um, it is also not new. Most of the history of the world is disordered. This notion that we learn in sixth grade that the world is run by nation states and only they get to wage war with their, pa their national armies, that is largely a fiction. It's a historical. It's only a couple hundred years old. Most of the world looks like durable disorder. This is the world that Machiavelli was lamenting about in The Prince. If you look at, for example, the Middle Ages or early Renaissance, it looks very similar today. To today, the Middle East looks very much like this, where you had, you know, anybody who was rich enough could wage war for any reason they wanted to. There were there were groups of like whether they would be sort of religious zealots or mercenaries or whatever. And what this meant was there was persistent, never-ending conflict, and we were returning to the status quo ante of durable disorder. Signs of it today. Uh, it's been going on at least since the end of the Cold War, but half of all peace deals fail in five years. Over half the world states are in some form of armed conflict. The majority of countries around the world are failed or failing by any metric. Uh, many states are just regimes in states rather than actual states. Um, armed conflicts persist. They don't resolve today. We are seeing the return of mercenaries for the first time in 150 years. They went underground, but now they're coming back. And now that you have mercenaries, <clears throat> and these are not just the lone guys in the Congolese jungles with a the Kalashnikov, these are high-end special operations units. These are showing up with attack helicopters. Now that you have mercenaries, anybody who's rich enough can wage war for whatever reason they want, no matter how petty. The super rich can become a superpower, for good or for bad. I mean, a good example might be if there's another ISIS you know, outbreak in northern Iraq and they start crucifying Christian men and selling Christian women off to sexual slave markets and the international community doesn't do anything like it really didn't do before, can you imagine a megachurch with a $90 million annual budget hiring mercenaries to go out there and protect Christians? Yes, one can. And we can talk about something. I was involved in something similar to that 10 years ago. Those who, under, who grasp the changing global environment of durable disorder can exploit it and do. And those who do not are being exploited. Unfortunately, American foreign policy is the Humpty Dumpty foreign policy. It's about trying to put the international order as we imagined it back together, reestablishing a liberal world order. Now, whether that liberal world order really existed as they think it does is a different question. But you cannot do this. We're going back, the, the proverbial horse has fled the barn. Mm -hmm.